Uh, hello traders, this is Orlando for Tradimo and uh, welcome to today's Daily Edge. Uh, this is a recorded session because uh, it's a Friday and uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at what happened during to the uh, trading day and uh, we're going to look at some uh, levels for next Monday, right? Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm going to be uploading this, um, well, I'm recording it on Friday, uh, but I'll be uploading it on uh, Sunday, so you have fresh levels to start your trading day. And I think I'll be doing this um, every single week. Uh, I think it's added value for our premium members. And um, yeah, let's get to it. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to go through what happened today in the, uh, the news section of um, our show, right? So basically, uh, Theresa May, um, announced that she was going to be um, well that she was going to be resigning on june the 7th but heads up she's going to be resigning as um a party leader and uh well she's go she'll resign as a party leader formally on 7th on june 7th and then stay on as a caretaker pm until leadership contest concludes so she is resigning from the party leadership but she is staying as a PM until this contest concludes. All right. Um, not too much going on on the pound. Yeah, we're going to look at uh, what happened with the pound. And um, yeah, we also had some uh, news on the UK. Uh, let me show you. Well, um, I'm going to show you this actually. Uh, I normally copy and paste the news to the premium. Um, yeah, to the premium. Um, uh, community, as you can see, well, I'm going to show you um, around 3 uh, a.m. my time is when I woke up, when I wake up and uh, I start looking at the charts, looking at the signals, uh, our positions, etc. Uh, for example, we have an open position in gold. I'm going to show you afterwards. So basically, yeah, um, um, uh, first, uh, the first thing I looked was uh, the uh, U.S. dollar. Right, and the US dollar was bouncing from that 97 level, which is the huge level that we always talk about. And we were looking at the 9780, uh, that uh, the 9790 level, and then the 9810 level for maybe a bounce, uh, a rally, and then a, um, a uh, crash below the 9770 level. All right, I'm going to show you after the news part of this, um, uh, of this show what actually happened. All right. And then, yeah, I mean, uh, I got the news on my um, news terminal that uh, um, uh, uh, British PMA says I will resign on Friday, June, 9, June the, the 7th. And they, then we got the UK retail sales, sales month over month um, with uh, an estimate of uh, minus 0.3% and a previous number of 1.3%. Uh, 2% and the actual number was 0.0% and the UK retail sales year over year uh, on April when uh, came out uh, for, came out as 5.2% uh, with an estimate of 4.5% 4 4 and a previous number of 6.7%. So better than estimates, or say, um, the uh, UK retail sales beat estimates or beat uh, forecasts, but yes, they were, uh, they, they, um, they turned out to be lower than the previous numbers, all right? Um, and then uh, we looked at uh, the US dollar Japanese yen for maybe a possible buy here, which we actually didn't take the buy because if you don't know the way I trade, I don't. I, I actually do not um, trade at market. This means that I don't take positions at market. Uh, I, I use spending orders and uh, you're going to watch later when we look at the charts that this actually was a bull trap and uh, we didn't get caught on the bull trap because our pending order wasn't triggered and the price on the US dollar Japanese yen just flushed. All right. Uh, and then, um, yeah. Um, and then we looked at crude oil, the crude oil chart, extremely uh, accurate chart that we have been uh, looking at for the past week and a half or so. Uh, if you follow me, you remember that uh, uh, we talked about that 61.8% retracement of this move down at around the $64 per barrel that was capping price to the upside and then price just flushed uh, to the first target at uh, the previous base and then it broke down and hit 
our second targets with uh, around uh, 57.90 per barrel and the 161.8% retracement of the flag, which was a perfect target because if you look closely, let me just zoom in right here. If you look closely right here, you can see the price hit our targets and then started to rally. All right, so very accurate um, technical analysis by our, our by um, by me, I'm sorry, <laughs> on the, on crude oil. And then we talked about uh, China. Uh, I mean, I uh, I uh, told uh, my premium members about this. China State Planner Vice Chairman says, despite certain impact from China, U.S. trade frictions, China's economy can maintain healthy, steady, and sustainable growth. All right, so this means that no matter how big the tariffs uh, are imposed on China's exports, uh, China, I mean, they will feel some kind of a um, impact, but their economy is going uh, is uh, very strong, so it's going to maintain healthy, steady, and sustainable growth. All right, and then again, uh, China and Bo there are no official talks of uh, an U.S. and China meeting at the G20 summit in Japan. So again. Uh, yeah, the president of the United States got caught in another lie and uh, there is no uh, uh, meeting in the agenda. There is no official meeting in the agenda. So uh, these frictions between the U.S. and China might uh, perdure. So um, I wrote um, this week an article about uh, this exact same topic and I called it... Uh, uh, U.S. crashes amongst trade uncertainty and bad economic health data, and we would, and, and I talked about uh, the uh, U.S.-China trade talks in the G in the G20 summit still uncertain, and uh, the Trump administration announcing that it's planning more restrictions on, on U.S. tech exports to China, and the trade talks that are supposedly going to happen during the next G20 summit in Japan are uncertain, are uncertain at best. I I I write articles every single day. If you guys um. Uh, didn't know about it as uh, I um, urge you to go to news.tradingmo.com where I post my analysis every single day and uh, well I, I urge you to check it out every single day so because we were talking about this and we were talking about this crash on the uh, well on the uh, US dollar and uh, of course uh, that day where um, the new home sales numbers hit the wires and the market economics Flash manufacturing PMI also hit the wires, uh, both being disastrous numbers, and uh, the dollar well suffered from it. We already talked about that on the um, on the on this week's uh, on one of this week's uh, daily edge. So we're going to move forward, all right? And uh, yeah, let's go back and uh, let's have a look at the premium channel. Uh, and then again, here we uh, a little upgrade, uh, a little update on our on our. Um, bullish position in gold we are long from these levels and we and we took profits around these levels and of course we move stops to break even and we are waiting for that flag to break above uh, well to break and move at least to the 1292 1295 1292 1294 level and uh, if you look uh, i'm going to show you the premium signals uh, channel this is i mean uh, the, this is this is the channel the premium forex channel this is the channel where i send my analysis the daily uh, updates uh the news that hit the wires etc and uh, this the premium forex signals is where i send the uh the actual signals right so uh you see that we have a long uh, pound versus yen uh we uh we had a i'm sorry let me go down again we had uh, the we have the long pound versus yen. We had that long U.S. dollar versus Japanese yen that didn't get triggered, so we delete the idea or we delete it uh, right before the weekend started. And um, uh, right here, trade management uh, uh, number forty nine on long gold take take uh, target what hit half position closed profit and loss fifty two pips and we are up since inception one thousand two hundred and thirty three pips. All right, so basically that's uh. That's uh, what's going on on our Premium Forex channel. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back 
and uh well look at the charts guys let's look at the charts all right so basically this is the us dollar um currency index or the dxy and uh uh well we were talking about uh if you uh, if you remember right now i showed you the discussion that we had about those levels when uh, the dxy let me just go back to uh to uh, a lower time frame because i want you to see so uh this is where we're discussing that the dxy was rallying right to that 97 90 97 85 level and what happened is that uh let me just grab my brush right here uh where is it is it yes so the it rallied all the way up here and maybe i'm going to make it thicker and uh yellow right because uh sometimes i can't even tell what i'm looking at right so we rallied all the way to this level wherever that we were looking at and then we crashed below that 9770 level so right now um uh let me just go back to the four hour chart right so right now what i'm looking at is this is a very bearish us dollar which is good for our our gold long and i'm looking at this level right here for a retest all right look at this i mean uh just look at this um bullish pre bullish pressure that happened at these levels right here uh i think that this is going to be like a magnet for price again we have some bullish pressure and some rejection at the same level and again a break above and some bullish action so basically what i'm looking at is uh something like this a um a uh well we had a pullback to that level and then a continuation to retest this um this buy zone now this is where i'm going to be looking for a bullish move in the us dollar next week but for the time being at, by, by the open of next week uh, on monday or on sunday for some of you or some of us uh i'm going to be looking at that uh, 76.4 retracement or 97.3 uh, uh level on the dxy guys and that that is very important in my eyes or this is the what i'm going to be looking at because we have broken with the with the 97.70 which is uh the level and uh, in my opinion because we have uh well right now what we what, what we did is we broke to the upside and we made this high then we moved down found that area that or, or that buy zone right or that support zone and then we moved up again and tested the same zone that looks to me like a double a double bottom in the us in the dxy and uh very very bearish if we break with that 97 30 and that 97 20 level so heads up for for a, a bearish start of uh the week for the us dollar and maybe maybe a break below that 97 um well that 97 um uh 30 level now if we break with the 97 uh, 30 level we might uh let me just zoom in very quickly because what might what we might, might happen is that we might be looking at the 97 level or lower maybe a retest of this trend line but no one knows it's going to happen so we are going to be taking a good look at the us dollar once uh the trading week opens all right now let's have a look at oil very quickly wti west texas eastern intermediate i think <laughs> uh yeah and uh, as you can see this is what happened with uh crude oil uh we were talking uh about this zone being capped uh by to the or, or oil being capped to the upside but that zone trading inside what looks to be a uh, nice flag and uh, and trading uh, in a, a very mid well a very strong mid to long term bearish structure right but what happened is that once we made it this high price start price collide to the downside right uh it started to plummet and we tested that trend line and uh, this and this level again all right we tested it here and what happened is that if you look closely we we can see that yeah there's bulls bulls definitely uh there were bulls definitely protecting this level but i mean if you look at the bearish moves at the short-term bearish moves they were very strong the bearish pressure was very strong i mean you can visually um 
I mean, you can see it. You, I mean, <laughs> you can visually see it. I was going to say you can visually see it, but you can see it, right? I mean, uh, the moves to the downside are uh, uh, this move to its downside was very strong, and then I mean, uh, even though bulls were uh, found at around uh, uh, the previous highs and around this very strong volume, high volume zone, I mean. Uh, they they weren't able to break to the upside and that's why uh price was trading what seemed to be a flag and once we hit that level this level right here uh this is where bulls gave up and 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 uh, sellers took control of the market and uh firstly they tested that flag they tested this level but we broke to the downside and uh we tested our our uh target the first our first target zone this is our first target zone, the 161.8 around the 57.90 levels uh, dollars per barrel. And now, uh, now, uh, if you, uh, I mean, um, I'm going to show you again what we uh, discussed here uh, on uh, crude oil. Uh, this was on the forex premium channel, and what we discussed here on, on crude oil, I'm going to share it with you too. Um, no, this is not it. So uh, crude oil flushes after topping out of our value zone around $64 per barrel and hit our first targets at uh, uh, at uh, around uh, $57.80 per barrel. Uh, a rally to $60 per barrel for new shorts to jump in is not out of the question. So yes, we are very, uh, I mean, we are bearish on crude oil. But if you look at price action right here at our target zone, uh, you can see that this is where where uh, sellers took profits right from this big move to the downside after the flag broke and uh, this is where buyers are found so basically what i'm ex what i'm looking for next week is a rally to this important area for a continuation lower right so this is what i'm looking at in crude oil and this is basically what i am going to be uh trading next week if you are not a premium member you can find that uh, premium membership trial a one month trial uh to get all my analysis to get all my uh well all my insight and all my levels my trade ideas etc uh on the bottom of this video there's a link where you can get a one month trial now let's go back to uh and or, or let's go to some uh, currency pairs right uh, the euro. Uh, let's start. Let's watch the. Um, I'm going to delete this first. All right, and uh, we're going to have a look at what happened with the pound today. And we're going. This is the hourly chart. All right, if this is the hourly chart. That's fine. So this is where the news uh, of Theresa May. Uh, um. Um. Uh, well, this is the when the the UK home sales hit the wires, and then the the news of Theresa May. Uh, um, well, um, resigning hit the wires too. But what's important here to notice is this level uh, that I'm pointing out. I think that, uh, uh, yeah, on with the white dot dotted. Actually, I'm going to use uh, a uh, rectangle, a great rectangle. This is the level. This is a, a level where buyers are found. This is a level that buyers were protecting. And as you can see, we did make a higher high. So the uh, the the pound uh, literally uh, moved down. From high to low, uh, around 70 pips, and then from low to high, around 85 pips, and we closed uh, higher than this level that we rejected. So, um, kind of a bullish move on the U.S. dollar, uh, on the pound versus the dollar after. Uh, and I thought that we were going to find some uh, uh, more movement, you know, uh, uh, one-sided movement with uh, this news and the data that came out of the wires uh, uh, from the U.K. But uh, I mean, we didn't. And uh, what shocked me is that we also found a very strong buy level here on the pound versus the yen. Again, uh, this is uh, around the one uh, what 138.50 uh, level, 138.60 level. Uh, this is where we, uh, after the new hit the wires, we tested again and then we moved up. And we are definitely moving inside of a uh, range uh, on this currency pair. But uh, if we go uh, higher on the four hour chart, uh, if we go to the daily chart and we thicken the chart out, well, you can see that this is a level that we are closely watching. All right. And uh, if we go to the four hour chart, uh, I mean, uh, if uh, we definitely break uh, with uh, this uh, uh, kind of a pen formation that we have going on right here. Right. 
kind of a pendant from, uh, uh, formation if we broke to the upside we definitely should uh, be uh testing that 140 30 zone for a um 150 pip rally okay maybe 150 pip rally before a continuation to the downside on this currency pair now gold broke with the with the, our flag right this is the flag that we were looking at in gold perfectly and beautiful flag and uh, we broke to the upside but i mean uh, we uh, the pr price still capped by this uh, level of uh, previous support now being resistance this is where we took some profits off and um, and uh, what we expect is a rally higher to the 1294 1292 zone on gold now this is what what i was telling you about uh what happened uh with the us dollar versus the japanese yen we we put our stop loss above this level and we didn't get uh we didn't get filled because we are smart the way we trade and what happened is that uh well uh, this, this was an extremely dangerous bull trap and bulls well novice traders and uh and uh at market traders that's why i call them uh well got caught and got stopped out on uh, this uh, bearish move on the us dollar that moved well that that uh, moved the uh, us dollar versus the japanese lower all right, so nothing to add here on the US dollar Japanese yen for next week unless uh, we're talking about the, the ultimate lows around 109.10. Uh, this is the area that we, we are definitely going to be looking at uh, for a possible long or a short. Well, a long if we have a bounce of this very strong bull zone. But the thing is that, I mean, uh, there's not too room to maneuver a long position for uh, just only 40 pips. But because this is a very... The, the, um, the um, square here uh, or the gray square is a very strong level right uh that has been tested countless times and uh, if we have found buyers here this is going to be definitely our first target because we don't know if we're going to break above and retest the 106.65 level all right so uh i i i don't think that we were we're going to be taking a long position here but if the risk uh that uh uh the setup provides is there they were definitely going to and uh i mean if you want to share it with us just take a, a one month trial and uh be uh hurry up because the one month trial will end on monday so the euro japan uh, the euro versus the um the pound again uh, very nice cap here to the upside after this bullish move on the euro versus the versus the um uh the pound uh rally for a hundred for around 340 pips 345 pips uh if we break below these levels this is the level that i'm looking at the 87 82 level which is this previous highs but definitely these lows right here if we break below we can expect a move to around the 86 75 level okay now this is the move that i'm that i have been expecting for one week and uh i'm going to still be looking for it unless we move higher but this is definitely um, a still um, a possible setup for me because of this rejection of these levels. All right. So basically, I mean, uh, this is um, what I'm looking at. I'm going to finish up with the euro versus the USD. Very nice rejection. Very nice bullish move here uh, from this buy zone. We missed this move sadly, and uh, because we missed this move, with I mean, uh, the risk versus the re possible reward on this setup was already gone and we didn't take it but very nice for those who took it and the next level we are looking at is definitely this one right here um i'm sorry it's this one right here this gray box again with the gray box but this is a very strong area of resistance that uh, has been tested a couple of times and where real sellers have been positioned so basically uh, i'm going to be looking for a sell here I mean, this was very too close. I mean, this was too early. And uh, I know some traders uh, that uh, were tweeting about this uh, short setup. I, will, I'm, I mean, I was just thinking to myself, uh, this could be heaven or this could be hell. <laughs> no, I was thinking to myself, uh, this is too early. I mean, this is too early to be shorting the euro versus the USD. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I will be looking between the 1240 and 1260 level. That 20 pip range here, that 20 pip level uh, for a possible short, maybe. Uh, but if we break to the upside, 
I will be looking for a retest for a uh, possible move because this looks very bullish. I mean, on the daily looks very bullish, very, very too. Uh, the last two days are very, very bullish. So we could be actually uh, finally breaking with this long term uh, bearish um, uh, structure that we were trading. In, all right. So this is what I'm looking at, guys, uh, for next week. Um, again, uh, uh, if you like carry trades, uh, the uh, buy here on the US dollar versus the Swiss rank at a run parity is wanted that uh, uh, that I've been wanting to, uh, that I've been waiting for a, uh, for a long time. Uh, very, I mean, it's parity. There's nothing to say. It's uh, parity between the US dollar and the Swiss franc. So basically, um, this is a uh, an area for a uh, possible buy. And uh, if you look closely, what happened here is that we did have some rejection, but I didn't take that by blindly. There's no setup for me. I'm just pointing out the levels and we could have uh, actually a uh, rally to this. Uh, this looks a lot like uh, like uh, uh, price action in oil, right? Uh, we could be looking at, uh, uh, for example, at a 100 pip rally. That's right. From from parity to the 0120 uh, level. But again, this is these are just levels that I'm pointing out. I did not take that trade uh so that's it i hope everybody had a great weekend even though i'm recording this on a friday but i will be uploading it uh on um uh on sunday and i'll see you all on uh monday on our premium channel and if you're not a premium member why don't you take that damn one dollar offer that i am uh that I'm uh, linking on the bottom of this uh, video. It's a one month trial for just a dollar. And the, uh, well, it, it, this, uh, this offer will expire on Monday. So I hope you all take it. So, goodbye, guys.